What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here. Now before I get into the bulk of this video, if you do want to pick up a copy of Cricket Coach 2014 for yourself, use the link down below in my description for an exclusive 10% discount. Right guys, today we are back with this England career mode and uh, we started off pretty well with the T20s against Pakistan, won that one 2 nil. We do have a bit more of a challenge now, taking on New Zealand in some one day internationals. Slightly different side as we would have already seen uh, from the bowlers when it comes to this one day international side. We welcome back some big names, um, including obviously James Anderson and Stuart Broder on the side. Uh, Alistair Cook has come in. Uh, I believe he's actually captaining the team. Uh, we have Ewan Morgan, who's in the side, batting at number four today. Joe Root opening up. Um, just trying to think. We have Bearstow. James Taylor's back in. He's a guy that I did really like. Um, direct hit, but he must be in by an absolute mile. No point going up to the third umpire there. Um, but James Taylor, obviously such a good young talent, uh, taken away at a young age. I believe there was something wrong Um I believe something wrong with his heart from memory, uh, which allowed him, well, sorry, didn't allow him uh, to keep playing. It was just a hazard uh, to, you know, his own health, which you don't want. At the end of the day, you do want to be enjoying it. So he is recently retired. Not in this, though. Not in England reborn. He is going to be hanging around for a long time. Uh, specialist uh, short league fielder as well. So whether we will see him in uh, that capacity in this game, we will have to wait and see. But um, we did get that early wicket we got Rutherford. But since then, we have gone a little bit wicket shy, and these two are putting on a good partnership. It is nice uh, to play against New Zealand and just, I really think, test ourselves and see the New Zealand side, uh, how they are developing, because it would be interesting to see if I was taking them, what the story would be. We have seen a wicket, though, Tom, uh, I was going to say Timmy Latham, Tom Latham, gone for 30, and uh, Kane Williamson batting at number four, which is a little bit strange. Normally, we are used to seeing him batting down uh, at first drop. And uh, Guptal, I guess, carrying on what he does best, and that is scoring runs in one-day international cricket. Can't do it in tests to save himself, uh, but when it comes to one-dayers, he is a very, very fine player. And he has brought up his 50, 20th time in one-day internationals. He has done it. We will be looking to go and finish things off quickly, which is what we have gone and done. We've got him for 50, uh, gone, I believe, the very next ball. And Bresnan, even though he has been expensive, he has picked up uh, some key, key wickets. And what I think is going to be interesting now um, is what we do for a fifth bowler. We do have Ravi Bopara in today, um, but whether we are going to get through 10 overs with him is going to be very interesting. I leant towards um, playing Bopara over, uh, sorry, playing uh, James Taylor over uh, playing another all-rounder. Uh, so it will be interesting to see if that decision does pay off and we will not come back to regret it. So I'm hoping that we can uh, get the job done, mainly with the four quick bowlers and Bopara doesn't get taken to too much because he is potentially uh, the weak link in this bowling side. He has had a couple of chances that he has created, um, but it just hasn't been followed up by the fielders, which is a bit of a shame. You know, we would like him to go uh, and get those wickets to boost up that confidence of his because um, for me, he is a, a very big part of these limited overs plans uh, for me heading forward into the future. And if you look at the other bowlers, we don't really have um, another option besides Joe Root to possibly come in um, and have a bit of a bowl. But again, only 49 uh, overall in skill. So we don't really want to be using him for an extended period of time. We are just going to have to try and make do um, with Bopara. Another player who could have potentially been in this side that isn't due to injury um, is Chris Wokes. I was really impressed with him. Uh, I think in the second T20, I don't think he played the first, um, but in the second T20, very, very pleased with how he went. Um, so hopefully he will be back soon, and that does give us another option. It does mean we potentially need to drop a batsman, um, but I guess to incorporate that extra all-rounder into the side, that extra bowling option, uh, is going to make things a lot easier. So we do need to be careful now, Brendan McCullum in, uh, and in at a good time as well. New Zealand do have a good platform, which is very dangerous. As I said, he could come out and play an absolute whirlwind innings, which we have seen him do in the past. Uh, Bopara... Come on, man, I do not want to be using you at the death, but we may have to just because of the way uh, we have rotated the bowlers. So hopefully uh, we can do what we did so well in the T20s, and that was just to contain uh, this middle and lower order to next to nothing. So hopefully we can do that. Hopefully uh, we can pick up some wickets, be tight, and not give too many runs away because then we are going to be chasing uh, a total which I believe is probably below par for the surface. I think uh, the New Zealanders have batted very slow here today. Probably a little bit too slow than you would expect. And um, Broad is done. So we need Bopara 
And I think I don't I don't think I've worked my bowl as good here either. So I think Joe Root is gonna have to bowl an over regardless. Um just because of the way things have been worked. Kane finally going to picking up that 50. Um, and as we can see, no, I think I have actually worked it well. You know, I have worked it well. So um, that is a relief that we will not require Joe Root to be doing any bowling here today. And we are going to have to get a move on in the second innings um, just so we can go and try and get through uh, this whole recording because... Otherwise, we are going to be very short of time. So, Epara coming in, bowling his last one now. As I said, a little bit of a weak link. He has gone, I think, for 52, uh, 53, actually, in his uh, 10 overs. So, as I said, that's something we potentially need to work on. But we still only need less than 10 runs and over. Um, sorry, what am I saying? 10 runs and over. That would be uh, a T20 score that we will be chasing. We need less than 5 runs and over um, is a better predicament to be in. And I think the one thing with this England side, probably our batting lineup is a little bit better uh, than our bowling lineup. We are going to go aggressive just to start things off because I do want to get off uh, to a good start which is something that we failed in the T20s as well. I think in the T20s, we really were underdone uh, when it came to bowling because, uh, sorry, when it came to batting because we did score some pretty low totals for the pitches that we were playing on um, and I would have liked to have a little bit more of an insurance policy when it came to runs on the board. So hopefully we can uh, fix that up in this one day international. This is better from Peterson and Root. They are betting, uh, their partnership has gone for basically a run of ball uh, in this 50. And we do still have that batting power play left to come. So uh, we just need to make sure that we don't get too out of drift with everything. And then we can continue to go. Joe Root, this is when he's just starting off his one day career. As you can see, that average is up towards uh, 100, which is absolutely crazy. He has only played nine games and he is going to be a huge part uh, of this one day lineup for a long time yet. So um, just need to make sure, as I said, that we don't, oh sorry, that we keep in touch uh, with that run rate. So we need uh, basically uh, 100 runs off these last 20 overs with with nine wickets left in hand shouldn't be uh, an issue by any stretch of the imagination. And we do have some good hitting power left to come. Would have been nice if we did have uh, Joss Butler in the side today, obviously uh, a big, big power hitter. But Ewan Morgan still left to come in next. Um, and we do know that he can hit a long ball if required. So I think we just need to keep nudging it around here. Uh, Williamson has brought him, I was going to say brought himself on to bowl, uh, but McCullum's still the captain of the side. He's wicket keeping as well, which is something we have not seen in a long time. Joe Root is at a four. That, I believe, is his first hundred that he has hit in one day internationals. Hopefully the first of many yet to come. And um, we are going to cruise along at the end to a nice wee victory. Um, but basically just due to Root and Peterson putting on a 200 run partnership. Uh, and they have really gone and done the business when required. Just the one run needed. And um, Joe Root is going to be the one to hit those winning runs. 120 not out in just his ninth uh, one day international is a very good pull. England win by nine wickets. And what a perfect way to start off our one day international career with a win against a good New Zealand side. Uh, but we just completely outplayed them. The batting was a little bit slow. I thought we could have picked it up a notch. Um, but to only lose the one wicket and 46 overs is a very, very good knock. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap things up here. Do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like. If you aren't, you please do subscribe. Make sure you check out my Facebook and Twitter links that can be found down below in the description. Hope you have a good weekend. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. We've got more Cliffy's Champions League coming your guys' way. Make sure